All right, thanks for watching our final outdoor springtime episode of Storytime with Bill. Story, story, story time with Bill. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you would, leave us comments, tell us how you feel about the books, give us ideas for new books, or really anything you want to talk about. In this final episode of our Outdoor Springtime series, we've got a book about one of my favorite subjects in the whole world, something I love to do, and I wish I could do it every single day, and that is to go hiking. Hiking is one of my favorite activities to do, uh, period. So that's something I like to do with my family, and I like to do with my friends, take the dogs, take the kids, take everybody along if I could. So Bruce, if you could bring that book out for me. Good hustle again, buddy. All right, what's this one called? Explorers of the Wild. Explorers of the Wild. <laughs> That's right. So, um, this book is about, well, it says it right there in the cover, Exploring the Wild. That's what we love to do, don't we, Bruce? You like to go hiking with me, don't you? Yeah, I think that means yes. All right, go have a seat. Let's read the book. This book is called Explorers of the Wild. Written and illustrated by Cale Atkinson. Explorers of the Wild. I love to explore. It's my favorite thing to do. There are so many neat things to see like over there, and so many strange things to find, like under here. My parents tell me to be careful. They say you never know what you'll run into in the wild. I say I'm an explorer, and explorers are prepared for anything. So I climb over trees, I roll down hills. run and I run until one day I ran right into <gasps> I was scared at first I mean I was really scared but then I saw we were both explorers. Together we found things to touch, things to see, things to hear, and even things to taste. Well, kind of. No discovery was too small to share, and no mountain was too big to conquer. This was our day. This was our adventure. We were kings of the wild. I didn't want it to end, but I had to go home.
So I took a picture to always remember. The greatest explorer I ever met. Dedicated to every explorer who runs through the wild with an open mind and an open heart. The end. Ah, man, that makes me want to hit the trails, doesn't it? Come on out here, Bruce. What else do you like about this book, Bruce? Um, I like how the flowers are blooming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the best things about this time of year, right? Mm -hmm. The flowers start blooming again. So do you think do you think it's kind of it's kind of funny that there's a kid who oh look he's got glasses and who else has glasses? I do. <laughs> you do. That's right. So does does this kid remind you of you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's an explorer too. And is this your little brother Neil? Because he's a bear. He can be a bear sometimes. That's yeah, true. he's a bear. Yeah, yeah. So do you, do you think the bear was happy to be finished hibernating for the winter? Yep. Yeah. So we got to finally come out and go exploring. Yep. Us too. We are so happy that we're no longer hibernating. hibernating. Yeah, that's right. No longer hibernating for the winter. We get to go outside and explore and have fun and get some exercise, which is super important, and uh, soak up some fresh air and see some cool nature outside. So do some karate kicking. Do some karate kicking. <laughs> when you're hiking. <laughs> All right. All right. Get it. Get it together. It together. No, you get it together. <laughs> all right, come here. Uh, all right, all right. Well, thanks for tuning in to our special three-part series of our outdoor springtime episodes for Story Time with Bill. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment about uh, anything you guys want to talk about, um, about the book you just heard or about a new book you want to read. Um, so, from Bill and Bruce. Thanks for watching, and thanks for reading. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Something else that you can do that is fun is um, going hiking. You can, you can like collect. You can collect like signs of spring and then bring it home to, if you have a collection, you can put it in your collection. But if you don't have a collection and you want to make like a cool like, like nature design, you can do that. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye bye. Story, story, story time